Okay, so I thought I'd make a quick video on uh, do-it-yourself um, replicator MakerBot style nozzle. Like you can see here, I made this guy. He's, uh, he's not too bad. So anyway, um, just wanted to go over a few things. What you'll need is you'll need a vise. You'll need an M6 uh, uh, thread uh, die to cut the threads into the, um, you know, into the... Uh, tip uh, caliper is always handy um, a drill adjustable wrench helps uh, and a file I'll get to uh, the next section you'll need a drill press and a center drill so just keep that in mind um, so what you do first is you measure up some quarter inch uh, brass bar stock uh, brass hex bar stock okay so it's this is the shape. You got some brass. It's quarter inch in diameter, or you know, on each side, you know, measures to be quarter inch. Um, basically, what you mark off is this section here is for the tip. This is about four millimeters. This section here is for the flats, so you can uh, you know run a wrench on it later. This area. Uh, this is five millimeters. And what's left over is about six or so. But you mark off about fifteen because you're going to end up taking some from the from the front and the back. Okay. So once you do that. You've got it marked off, you cut it, uh, you cut it here, uh, right at the end of uh, all the stuff that you're going to work on. And we're going to work on shaping it. How we shape it is, we toss it into the drill like this, and you, as you can see, I've already prepped this. Um, this is where I'm going to cut my threads. Okay, so what I do is I put this into the drill, I run the drill, and I run the file on it. Then I flip it around, I run the drill, and I and I cut my, my, uh, my angle in for my tip. Okay, so that's... So that's how you shape it, right? So give me one second, guys. I'm trying to hold this, so check this out. So let's see. We go like this. So after you're done, what you should have, what you should have is you should have a shaped head that looks like this, okay? So this is uh, obviously, uh, you're going to cut your threads here. This is your tip, obviously. Then you put it into your uh, thread die now there's you put it in one way okay uh, but to cut the threads closest what you'll need to do and just give me another second I need to pull this out what you'll need to do once I can get this out sorry about this hang on one second so what you'll need to do is you're going to want to take the die you want to flip it around so basically you turn you turn the die around so that the finished edges because if you see here uh, on the die you got two edges so I'm trying to get this picture for you but um, that's kind of got a beveled edge or chamfered edge so that it accepts it accepts the material. This is a very straight edge. So what I would do is after I cut in the first set of threads, I just send this through and it ends up giving me a set of threads that go all the way basically to all the way to the uh, edge. And that's what you want because you want uh, full contact on your threads. So that's uh, part number one. Let's go over it real quick again because I was shaking all over the place. But we got measure it up, cut it, put it in the drill, right? Run the drill, file it. Okay. After you file it, run the run this, cut the threads in the correct way, flip this around, and then cut threads all the way up to the edge. Okay. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about this process. If I need to go into more depth, uh, I will. I will make specific videos per each process if needed. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, check for the next video. I'm about to show you how to get the, uh, the tip drilled out and uh, looking nice. Okay, thanks guys. Peace.